Los Angeles. Big skiing holiday. Their near disaster started at 7.30 this morning when smoke began billowing out of the rear toilet of the bus into the cabin. Well, we were sat three rows from the front and uh, the toilet door blew open. That's the first thing we saw of it. And all flames came through the front back of the door. And uh, the bus driver said, pull over. So we pulled over. And uh, he ordered everybody out of the bus. And uh, next thing we saw, we just had time to get our luggage out and there's up in flames all up the back. The bus driver had just refueled and was 10 minutes out of Murray Bridge when passengers started screaming that the bus was alight. The 40 passengers, fearing the fire would ignite the full petrol tanks, scrambled for safety before the vehicle was engulfed by flames. Within, within seconds of us getting off it, it just, you know, went up. Uh, we thought the fuel tank was going to go, because he put 20 bucks worth of petrol in, um, just recently. We thought it was going to go up. We all spread out all over the highway and everything, watching it. CFS and police rushed to the scene, but were unable to save the brand new coach and stood helplessly by as they watched the bus go up in smoke. Oh. We're not going on another, on another bus. <laughs> not for long. It was, as the holidaymakers described, an experience that they'll never forget. Chris Nichols, Eyewitness News. Bailey coach was leaving Murray Bridge when passengers were awakened by the smell of smoke. Mechanics believe the fire began in the rear engine and spread quickly through the bus. Fortunately, all 39 passengers and the two drivers had time to escape with most of their luggage. The coach is one of 14 recently imported from Holland and features the latest video equipment and travelling comforts. Government mechanics are still investigating the cause.